UML diagrams are like the blueprint of software development, right? But sometimes their complexity can actually make them more confusing than helpful. And that's what Drawio shines, giving you the tools you need to design clear and targeted UML diagrams for everyone, from project managers to software developers. I'm Eric with Drawio, and today we're diving into three tips that you can use to optimize your UML diagrams with Drawio. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so tip number one is gonna be know your audience because not everyone on your team is gonna need the same level of details when it comes to your UML diagrams. Yes, while developers need those intricate attributes and methods of coding, but project managers likely benefit from a broader overview. Dryo lets you tailor the complexity while keeping everything in one diagram using layers. Let me show you how with this example. So, all right, so let's look at here, right? It's obviously a lot going on and everybody may not need to see everything. I know looking at this is giving me anxiety already. So maybe we want to create a high level view for project managers. All right, so let's go to our layers feature here. On the left, we're going to go down to layers. And so right now we just have the background layer, right? Activated, which right now is kind of everything. And then we're going to create a new layer by hitting this plus. And let's call this new layer high level view. We're going to call this high level view. All right, boom. So nothing quite has happened yet. And because this diagram was already created, we have to get the layers that we want selected just for the high level view. Uh, for the sake of this example, we, we will just go ahead and click all. Let's just highlight everything. Boom, boom, all right. And then just because it will be simpler, I'm going to deselect the things that we won't want in our high level view. All right, so now I have only the things selected that I want in my high level view, right? And so all I have to do now that I have it selected is go down to these three dots here and click high level view. Boom, it looks like nothing has happened, but if I, let me do this, take off the background view, now you have a much more streamlined view for a project manager that might not need all the details. And you still have the ability to simply make the details viewable for engineers or developers that would need these type of things for implementation. All right, so tip number two is actually gonna be consistency because consistency is key. Let's take something like software development, right? Which could involve multiple teams. Consistent UML diagrams are vital for smooth collaboration. So let's look at some ways that we can achieve this inside of Draw.io. All right, so first let's start with color, right? Let's say we wanted to show the relationship between different elements on our diagram using color, right? So we might want to give a few the, the same color to just signify their relationship to each other. And let's say we select these here. I'm gonna go to style and I'm gonna click on, let's give this a nine. It's purple, how about that? Boom. So we get a nice purple here to show relationship between these elements. And let's say we wanna show the importance of another, we could turn that red right here. This was kind of the uh, central element here. We might wanna give this the color blue. And then, and for the sake of, let's go ahead and switch these to green. But I mean, bada boom. I say these last two kind of got a little bit of own thing going on here. We'll give them these colors. So, and colors just kind of makes it clearer what, what things are maybe in relationship to each other. And consistency goes beyond color. You may want your diagram to match the visual style of your organization. So in order to do that, I'm, I'm actually gonna select everything. Then I'm gonna go to text and let's go to font and let's click here. And then we're going to upload our own custom font. Now, if you have a font in your system, you can use that. Or if your organization uses a Google font, you can use that. Or if you have a link to the font, you can use that. For today, let's use Lotto from Google uh, Apply. And then voila, automatically it changes everything to match the font that I placed here. And the last one is custom shape libraries. So here you can always add a custom 
shape library if there's shapes that you guys normally use or you use all the time that you want to add to your diagrams you can do that here to remain consistent you can do it from device you can do it from url or you can do it straight from the confluence cloud consistent formatting means developers testers and project managers can instantly understand relationships even in complex diagrams the last tip is going to be elegance and flow. Elegance in a UML diagram is not about trying to make things look fancy. It's about adding clarity for everyone that uses. And that's why Draw.io gives you the tools to design diagrams that are not only easy on the eyes, but also easy to understand. And one of the ways you could do this is by using things like shape styles. This tip doesn't just apply to your male diagrams, but all sorts of diagrams like these. Use colors and subtle effects like shadows to group related elements. Stick to a limited number of styles for a clean look. Also look into your text formatting. Choose fonts that both are readable and complement your overall diagram style. Ensure class sizing is consistent too. Class names a bit larger, details a bit smaller, creating a sense of visual hierarchy. Also think about your arrangement. Draw IOs alignment tools and guides make it easy to organize your shapes neatly remember clear uml diagrams aren't just a nice to have it's a necessity for smooth collaboration but by making sure that your diagram is geared toward the right audience it is consistent and has elegance and flow so it's clear to understand you empower your team to communicate complex ideas clearly and effectively and look we're just scratching the surface if you're ready to transform your uml diagrams check the blog post linked in the description for additional tips and if you're ready to dive deeper into Dryo's features you can try Dryo for free for 30 days just head over to the Atlassian marketplace to get started all right until next time peace